Hello everyone, this is Vlad and I'm here with a quick update on my Hackintosh install that I've uh, done two days ago. This is the latest OS Sierra installed on my Hackintosh. As you see here is the latest version. I'm running an iMac late 2013 because this is an original Haswell configuration and I'm also using a Haswell CPU. So my CPU is a i7-4770K. And for a graphics card, I'm running the GTX 1060. And uh, a quick note here, this was the reason that I've avoided OS X for some time now because I'm running on a 4K monitor and this graphics card was not officially supported neither by Apple or by Nvidia. So you had no drivers whatsoever to use this card and my only other uh, solution for this to work was to use the integrated graphics card that comes with the Intel Core i7 SIP. So that was not the performance I would like to have on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one month ago, NVIDIA released the official drivers for this card and for all other 1060 Pascal and all that infrastructure. So you should be able to install it now without any issues. Okay, now let me quickly show you the tools that I've used to make this work. So I'll start off with the Clover FE bootloader. This is a vital part of the installation because this will allow OS X to boot on this third party hardware, or should I call it? Um, just keep in mind that it is recommended to have the latest version installed here. I'm using the latest 4.061 because I just installed this. But this page usually it, um, it is updated once per week, maybe often than that. So just be sure to grab the latest version when doing the install. Next is another vital part of the install is the hardware sensors. And especially from these hardware sensors I've downloaded here it is. So the, the most important component here is the fake SMC. So without this, you won't be able to boot at all. This is needed in order for the OS to be fooled that it's running on an SMC Apple platform. The rest of the kegs are not needed. These are only um, available in case you need the hardware monitor tool. So this is the monitor tool that will show you the temperatures, the power consumption, frequency and all that. So if you don't need any of this, you can just install the fake SMC into extensions in your system and just um, just use it like that. You don't need any of this. Uh, keep in mind, if you install all of this, if you need those, just avoid this cheap, uh, GPU sensors text because this does not support the latest NVIDIA card. So if you're running a GTX 10 something or uh, the latest uh, Pascal infrastructure that I, I was talking about earlier, just avoid this one because without uh, without this one, it would be okay. With this one, you'll get a kernel panic. Okay, let's move to the drivers. The only driver that I'm needing right now from this page is the um, networking card driver. So I'll show you that. Is the Apple Intel E1000 EKX. This is the only driver that I'm using from here. It's my networking card and as you can see, let me show you here, Launchpad. I'll quickly do a speed test, an internet speed test for you to see that the, net the networking performance is actually okay. So this is the download speed I'm getting. It's 860 megabytes download. And for the upload also, it should be around 500 megabytes, uh, but that is limited by my contract. My internet contract is not a limit of the actual card. I'm using a gigabyte connection and it's fully working between my networking um, components. So this driver pretty much fixes all your issues in case you're using an Intel Ethernet, Ethernet card. Next one would be the Clover ALC. This is needed for the actual audio to work. You have one link here, the audio Clover command. You have to download this. I already have downloaded it. Uh, let me show you, this is the one. You just have to click on it. It will ask you a couple of questions. You hit next and uh, it will automatically go on the web and grab what you need and detect your audio card and install it accordingly. I'm using this for a couple of years now and I must say I did not have any issues with it. It's pretty much flawless in, in that perspective. Next thing, and the most important again, is the driver for your NVIDIA card that we discussed earlier. Just keep in mind that the F2 is the latest version right now. And I can show you that as well in my panel. So NVIDIA Device Manager uh, is the F2. If I 
check for updates, it will say that there are no updates available. So this is the driver that enables you to use the latest video cards on OS X without, uh, I mean, with acceleration and uh, without any issues, right? This is pretty much a new driver. So you should download and install it after you finish all the Clover and all that stuff. First of all, go through everything here and afterwards download and install this driver. And uh, after a reboot, you should be able to, to have full acceleration on your machine. That's pretty much it uh, when it comes to the basic tools needed to install. I prefer a pretty simple um, native configuration. But also there are a couple of other things to keep in mind, like the, the configuration plist. So this is needed in order for Clover to know exactly what to do and how to boot. If you leave this by default, you're pretty much safe uh, to use your, your machine. You shouldn't have big issues, but this allows you to actually go through all the settings and configure the, the SDT patching and also the power management. As you see, the default here is the C states and P states true, so those are enabled. But what I'm using and testing right now is a personal SSDT that I've generated myself and a new config that has those settings disabled. So yeah, so those are on false in order for them to be picked up from this file. And uh, yeah, I pretty much can say that it's working okay. I have no issues with it. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you want iMessage and uh, FaceTime functionality native on your machine, you will have to generate your own serial number you see that's why i've hidden this because i've generated myself so you need a serial number that's um, pretty much in line with apple specifications and also you need an mlb serial that uh, will be close uh, or should i say uh, it will look real in regards with the serial number of the machine there are tutorials on the web to do this so it's not pretty complicated but um, yeah, I would strongly suggest if you do a hacking touch to also enable those because uh, with the default one from Clover, it will work for some time. But uh, since more and more people are installing Clover and doing hacking touching, uh, Apple will eventually ban those serial numbers and your iMessage and FaceTime functionality will go away with that. So it's, it's good to have them generated, um, uniquely generated when you install this, this thing. Okay, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them in the chat below. And uh, I'll hopefully get back with another update and a tutorial on how to actually create a bootable um, USB installer uh, in order to get this fully working from, from the start.